So what I have for you guys here today is the SLS2 setup with the TT1. So SLS2 would be everything else. TT1 is the turntable. Um, as you can see, I have the computer set up. Um, you guys have already seen the tutorials that we put up. There are four videos on our YouTube channel there. Uh, screen ID is two, turntable is set on. Um, I've already calibrated it, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when we calibrate. It's very quick. I'm going to go here to the calibration tab. Click calibrate. And let it do, let it do its thing. It gives a confirmation. And what I'll do here is I'll scan this dog sheet. This is a product for a customer. It's a piece of a dog shoe, so a disabled dog. Um, needed a brace so that's what this is so I'll give that a little scan and we'll see how that goes ah before I do that We want to project on a fully black background if possible. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm recovering from a cold, so if I'm a little quiet in the video or my voice is cutting in and out, that's why. So I do apologize for that. Okay. So now you can see that a little bit better. And I'll go ahead change the exposure on the camera and the exposure up just a bit. Okay. A little more there. I'll remove the object. Use uh, scan background. This will get rid of any of weird texturing that we get from the uh, unequal black background so if there's any white reflections being picked up um, it's going to find those so we see we have a ton of stuff which I might end up doing the whole thing over again background removal place the object down and go ahead and click start that might have also been when I overexposed it uh, just for uh, you guys can see here um, I fused a scan this is 8 images so we did 45 degree rotation on the turntable um, that produced eight individual scans, and I'm showing all the scans overlapped right now. And you'll see they're overlapped into the layers. Uh, so I'll go through one at a time. There's one, two, four, six, and all eight. Now when I fuse them, they turned out to be like this. I use a lower resolution and a lower sharpness so I can email these. Um, this comes out to about 5 meg. So this is just a, an example to send a customer. Uh, resolution is down 
down to 500 instead of 4,000. So this is a close-up of the 500 resolution shot. Um, with this program, you can, of course, move around and do different things with the mouse. And you can clean up over here. Say I wanted to delete a section of it. I don't want to, but, you know, you can definitely go through and clean up everything with David 4. I'll go into more detail of that later. Um, what I really wanted to show you guys was how we did eight scans of 45 degrees each, um, and it produced a very nice uh, fusion result. And I can actually do one live for you as well. So we'll select, there's four, five, six. There's my eight selections. So we can see that's a pretty nice little image there. I'll go here to Fuse on the bottom left. Click Fuse and I'll wait. It's pretty quick. Um, and it gave us a, a very full object. Now this one here, you can see very well um, that hole. You can see um, some of that. There we are, part of the dog shoe.